everybody, welcome back! We're here with a new part of the interactive playthrough of Robinson Crusoe Adventures on a Cursed Island. And this was the situation we were, well, struggling. We were struggling. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, health is low at this moment. We at this moment have one cage, that's the blue marker here, and we need three of them and we need to catch some animals with them. Now, at this moment, I don't think this is the round that will happen yet, but we have some plans and I hope next round we will be able to do such things. Because we need stuff, we need food, we need uh, plenty of things against all the danger. We will have heavy rain later and I think we are going to focus on that now. I had some suggestions by some people. Thank you for your suggestions. Christopher, Diekman, Matthias, Montes, Trevor Wilson and uh, James Anderson who wrote a big text. Now, uh, stuff is pretty hard here but we'll see what we can do. Um, now, before I get started with the actions and the resolve of the actions, uh, I asked you last time whether we should move our camp or not, and well, the majority said it was a good idea to do so, so that's what we are going to do. So, we are moving our camp east, and that means we get only wood in the production phase. We still had to do that, so we get one more wood here. And that would, I think we are going to use that for good. Okay, now, what were the actions that I was suggested to do? Well, first of all, they asked me to bring Karen to the build action. And let's go up a little bit. And she was going to build another roof. Now, she is paying only one wood instead of two because she is going to use her economical construction it's, which is right over here on her player board which means she can spend one fewer type uh, five fewer resource of any type and that means she only has to pay one now I'm going to put a token on that skill because she can use it only once each turn so that's one thing that is going to happen for sure and uh, well hmm the other thing that I was thinking about doing is <clears throat> was well I was thinking about sending the soldier to the frost the warming the camp space here uh, just to get rid of that snow uh, here because if we don't do that now this will go away next round and we will get snow although that might not be too bad because next round and as you can see let's go and take the scenario again as you can see uh, next round, oh, there we go. We'll have the red die and not and not the weather die, and we will have enough uh, roof to protect us, especially with the old clothes that we still have. So I might just leave that where it is, which is interesting. Um, that's why I might even do something else. Okay, I think we are going to bring. The Tim, the soldier, and Friday, and he, they are going to build the spear. It is time to have a spear, raise our weapon level. Let's get the camera a little bit lower by three. If we have, if we manage that, then well, things are ready to fight some animals. Maybe we can hunt uh, for some food later after we get that, and uh, well, after that we might have more interesting stuff as well. So let's put this right over here this piece of wood and and well then mm, we are going to send Tim and Karen together on a explore mission right over there where we hope to find food uh, if we don't then we are going to have to use our biscuits already so let's hope we find some food over there and that everything goes as planned. Now, this is all the actions I can program, so that means we are going to resolve the actions. Now, we are not going to do these, we are not going hunting yet. It's getting time to do so, though. Um, and then we are going to build, and uh, building will be done by Karen, and Karen will have to roll them dice, and let's hope she doesn't get wounded, uh, but the chance of her getting wounded are pretty big, which means our Morale goes down. Oh man, should I do that? Ah man. 
I'm not sure if that is, was the right decision to do. Let's think about this. Oh man. Yeah, who else is going to do so? Oh man. I think. Hmm. Friday has one reroll left. Ah, that's not good. He's almost dead. Uh, might do. Uh, although, although, although. Maybe I should. Man. I don't want to take too many risks. I'm going to let. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to let. Oh man, I don't know. I'm going to let Friday do the explore and I'm going to. Let Karen do it. This completely and I'm not going to take any chances this round. So, two tokens on the, knife, on the spear, two tokens on. Yeah. On the, the uh, roof building spot. Okay, so that means we don't do this, we are not going to hunt, we are going to build though, which means, well, we succeed at building, so we pay the wood, we go up one roof level, and we hope not to roll two rain clouds later. Uh, if we don't, we have enough roof to protect us from the rain. But, but, there's a but, because we have this token here on top of the stack and it means we have to do an adventure although we didn't roll a question mark. And that's too bad. Anyway, fear of the beast, sooner or later you will need much stronger weapons. And we shuffle it into the event deck. Oh. Wow, and as you can see there are some more that might come back. So I'm going to close my eyes now and going to shuffle again as I do always do. So I cannot see which one will be on the top. That's maybe the only little fiddly part of this game, I think. It's this part because you can, see, if you have your eyes open, you can see where it ends. But in this case, nothing happens. Well, nothing happens. There is not one that comes back to hunt us for now. All right, so we have more of a roof now that means we can uh, yeah we can go further and we are not going to gather resources so that means we are already oh we're going to build again of course we have Tom who is building the spear now he's the only one who could make this spear he could be assisted by someone but it is his own personal item and he can only build it now if he builds it the cool thing oh and that's very good by the way is he also gets two determination tokens when this gets built and I think it's right out of screen it, That's this symbol here on the right bottom of his player board if you build his item Well, he gets some determination and we have the spear which means we add three to our weapon level And now we can finally start thinking about saving those animals uh, which might be a hard thing to do Okay, but we're there. That's something next is Friday who is going to explore now he has to roll the dice of course because he is going alone oh let's see okay so he get is a success but gets a wound now he's going to spend two of his determination tokens let me put him closer in the picture to reroll the wound if he fails he dies Woo! all right wow he went on a kamikaze mission but he succeeded and let's see what he found. Nice. All right. So he found a nice little place here. Ah, but the totem. I don't like the totems. All right. Let's see what this means. We immediately in this scenario get what the space provides. So he's going to come back home with some wood and some food. That's awesome. We get one explore token or mystery token right over here. And we get see some fallen tree uh, that gives us a wood for later not too shabby either and then well uh, that's that and then we have to look at this scenario again for the fourth totem already and the fourth totem that we found is a dead poacher and we will feel sick after seeing a massacred poacher body morale drops and we receive the knife 
Oh, but we already made the knife. Oh, that's too bad. But morale drops, that's even worse. Now, this was our fourth totem. There we go. Oh, crap, morale dropped. That sucks, that's not good. But anyway, we found a new space next to us and we got some wood and food out of it. That's good news. All right, that's all the actions because we are not rearranging camp, we are not resting. And that means we go to the next phase. And of course, that's the weather phase. And let's hope we can survive the weather phase this time again. And uh, well, so first of all, we must deal with the weather. So very easy. We have at least one cloud. And we have to roll the weather die also to see if it's even worse. Well, it will be worse, but let's hope we, we get one of these or one of these. So that means there are two bad sides to this die for us at this moment. And let's hope we don't roll one of those. Okay, so we rolled the snow symbol. That means our result for this night, this weather phase is rain and snow. We can turn one snow into rain. So we don't have to burn wood for the cold, for the cloud, for the snowy clouds. And then we have two clouds, means we have to have a roof of level two to protect us. And well, we just built that level two roof. So we are okay. We survived this without any trouble. This token goes away again and die as well. And then we go to the night phase. And again, the well, of course, I forgot this as well. We have to bring back everything to camp. We can exchange this into a piece of wood, so let's do that. So we have three woods, which is cool for cages. And then we have to eat. Now, I only have one food in our supply, so the other player will need to eat one of them biscuits. But again, no wounds, and that's pretty awesome, of course. Okay, now, next round, people. Um, now I have the chance again to uh, rearrange camp or to move camp. Now, of course, it would be interesting to go back to a space where there is food and wood. But if we move now, we have to lose half of our roof that we just built. So we would go back down to one. Now, I'm not sure it might be a good idea still because, well, next round there will be the red die. So uh, chance of being attacked. And then we need a palisade, maybe. Um, and only the next round after that, there will be a, this die again. And maybe we are have enough with only one roof. Although there are two chances out of six that we need a two level roof. But that's up to you. Let me know if we move farther ahead or if we stay where we are and only get wood. That means we need to find some food somewhere. So that's very important to realize. Okay, next is the, well, the new round, of course, so round seven. That means we add this die over here, so we know that's going to hound us later. And then we draw a new event, and this new event says, a disaster. The wind blows with fury. Your camp is torn to pieces. Wow, okay, that's not good. Oh, crap, that's really not good. Okay, so, well, I think the game made a decision for us, so we put this on the gray question mark as you can see and now we have to lose one roof or a palisade now we don't have a palisade so it will be a roof level so let's put that to one now that means if we move camp we don't lose that one roof level so we can just move away uh, we already lost that a roof level that's too bad now this means also that this card gets pushed out of the board. Let's first read what, how we can solve this one. Uh, if we don't, and if it goes off the board, we lose half of the roof or palisade, and we can go there with one worker and one wood, and we get a level back. So that might not be a bad idea to do, just to get our, maybe our palisade up for a possible animal attack. Just saying. Uh, but now we get a snow token, snow symbol in the weather phase, 
which is not a problem as soon as long as there will not be more added we are okay with that uh, snow because we have old clothes and still one roof level so things are okay in that perspective okay that's the event phase then we go to the morale phase and sadly enough Tom has to pay one of his determination tokens because we are at minus one morale and that sucks because then he cannot activate his uh, special abilities which is a little bit sad but hey it's okay all right so now we go to the resource phase and i think i will also if if i'm wrong to do so let me know but i think we just move camp anyway oh no no because we don't know knew that by far <laughs> let me know if you wanted to change to move camp or not and then we see if we do some resource phase with well one wood or a wood and some food. Let us know, let me know. And uh, well, the way to do that is to put everything in the comments. So where are we now? We have some wood, which is cool. We might, we, we definitely will have four wood now. So that's cool. Uh, we are ready to fight. We have six, we have six weapon strength. So we could do either the grab action, the one that we have with the special token that we found earlier so but for that we need to send three of our workers to the hunting spot but we get one for free we have one cage so we need more so we might need to build a cage again so that costs us two wood so that's an option um what else we could might do the fishing pole it's not there for nothing it's probably a clue that it might be very interesting to do so but mm -hmm. Uh, we might want to raise morale back up to zero so we are safe from morale drop and losing health because of morale tokens that we would not have. Or we can f try to save a beast, in which case we just have to hunt and fight a beast of strength 4, which we can. And that need we need two workers for that. So let me know what to do. That's the most important thing. Don't forget, at the end of this round, we will have to roll this die again, which might be an uh, animal attack of string 3 which is okay for us at this moment we might lose some food or we might lose a palisade level or let's hope just nothing happens but we might want to be prepared for that and that's it folks that's it for now also don't remember don't forget if you fight an animal they are one stronger which is i think momentarily okay so let me know what you want us to do and uh, how we can try to still win this game. We're not giving up. We still have four rounds left to uh, survive and to get those three animals saved. All right, just folks, just put it in the comments. Feel free to give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and want to help in the next part as well. And uh, I thank you already. And I see you all in the future on this cursed island of Robinson Crusoe. Bye-bye.